They may have had a hard time at Oporto this week, but they come back amongst the ink folk to a warm and reassuring welcome that surely will act as a tonic to a Celtic side convinced it can bounce back immediately off the ropes. But the United have promised a positive attitude in this game, and I, I think they really have to, given they haven't won here since December 26, 1992. Martin O'Neill stands largely by the side which played in Portugal with the exception of the injured Stylian Petrov. Lubomovacic obviously comes into midfield. The defence and attack remain the same. So, John Hartson gets his third start in a row and there couldn't be a more appropriate time for him to score the first goal for the club. Good result for United last week against Sibson with uh, Jim Hamilton in form with an excellent goal. I think his joust with Baldi ought to be for connoisseurs of don't watch alone. Derek Lilly goes to the bench and uh, surely the United defence will be bolstered by the return of Jim Lachlan, signed from Kilmarnock and a man who told me he's looking forward to that CIS quarter-final with Hibs. Referee today, Bobby Orr. Well, you can tell from that Celtic team selection that they want to operate at full strength on two fronts, domestic and Europe, regardless of the difficulties they may face in terms of the sheer huge physical effort and commitment that that involves. I don't think there's any doubt either that the, the players would like to get back into the fray as quickly as possible. Celtic supporter was telling me he was a wee bit disappointed that they didn't do the warm down near the Celtic supporters at the end. I think, quite frankly, the players may not be the reason, but I would suspect the players were deeply embarrassed by their performance. Didn't want to show the face too much. Now they are, and they want to come back strongly. Hamilton tried to get to that. Valde. Yes, it is slippy out there. It really has been heavy rain all morning. I'll be trying to get across. Worked the way in there by McIntyre. No danger, though. There was nobody on the right-hand side for United. Lambert. A gap. Oh, I think a gap. Played splendidly for Celtic in that game. I, I think he really was trying, trying to use his pace and uh, very astute the way he can come back and defend. Hartson did get the touch. Nice little layoff. Lambert almost got there. Stab forward to Hamilton. Knighted knocking the ball about well. McCunny. And taken away by Agat. Held on to that well. His long runs are superb. And they get the free kick out of that. Uh, a congestion of three players around him there. And a tackle from the back, illegal. Anna. Al Joffrey. Far too obvious uh, a cross into the box that time. Pace by Craig Easton. He plays it out all the same, but once again, then it was a cross covering. Just in case of any lapses in that defense. Stephen Thompson linking up uh, well there's Hamilton uh, no chance of getting that Valdi was in in the cover now it can always be danger with this man picks it up even in his own half even when he's deep oh there's a good ball Hartson can he make it this time he has he's broken his duck first goal for the club seven minutes gone of this first half and what a relief for that man He took it very coolly indeed. I wonder what was going through his mind. He realizes he's been under pressure as he ran in on his goal, kept his eye on the ball, and then shoot it with outside of the foot. Gallica seemed to get a slight touch there. Nice play again. Moravchik 
seeing that little gap in the defense, and that's a, a beautifully taken goal. As they played down there by Larson Moravchik to Thompson. River hugging that touchline. To get it to that left foot of his. Showing his strength that time. Lambert. Lamaravchik, he may go for it. Yeah, it's chipped underneath it just a little bit too much. Oh, as soon as he got into that situation, you could tell right away exactly what was going to happen. Hudson thumped from the back by Laughlin. Just back after suspension, of course. and shields that well. All the riders. Larson goes down. I think he's okay, though. Bad control by Hannah. Uh, quick as a flash. He's into it in a shooting move today. That's the second one he's let go from about uh, 25 yards. Lennon. Uh, Lambert. Valde, Hartson intended that for Lambert, Lambert making forward runs ever since his game started, he's been aiming for the penalty area, 20 minutes gone, almost 20 minutes gone, and still 1-0. Need ball inside, Thompson, can he get it to his left foot? Trying to chip the goalkeeper, an intelligent ending there. Well, the crowd appreciated that. Gallagher judged that it was just going over, yeah. Not a bad effort, though. It was in a tight situation. Griffin, Anna, Al Joffrey, Thompson getting into a tangle. Look at the number of players that come on to the United in midfield. Oh, that's good play. That was laid off well. He's going on his own. Gives it to Moravchik. Oh, that's a great save. Brilliant move there by Celtic from their own half. And once again, a gap making all the moves, the right moves, the right speed, and a beautifully judged pass. Although that was, when you look at it again, quite an awkward angle. Instead of placing it, he went for the, the blast. See how often Celtic are winning these tackles in midfield. Leaving uh, the delighted uh, midfield first stranded, and now... Well, Harlan, he wanted a one-two, doesn't get it. Lambert gets in there again. A gap. Well, he was in the right position, falling back. And he is a, a defender, not a striker, but he made a decent enough effort at it. In actual fact, he needed to get back just a little bit more to make uh, that short of any merit. Easton. Lack of proper control again there by Thompson. Larson controlled that beautifully. It was popped up there. It was Bakharin initially. Amaravchik just touched away. Well, you could see a gap coming in to finish that off. He did have a possibility, but there were so many players in front of him. The danger starting here with that excellent ball, swerving, tempting ball, touched by Gallagher, and finished off there 
by a get. Strength of learning in the tackle again, and he kept his balance well. How important that is to win possession in midfield. Get the move started. Celtic striking it about confidently. Thompson. Get into that left foot of his. Rapchik is there. Now Lambert. Leonard. Watson backing in. Tries a shot at goal. Claiming a corner kick. There was a deflection. The flag was up to support his cause that time. Robert in there. Apparently there was a deflection. Didn't see it too clearly that, that time. Oh, but Abchik tried to get in there. Oh, that fell. Mjolby and uh, Baldi right on the penalty spot almost. Just a little bit unfortunate it didn't ricochet from them. Hamilton tried to get the touch. Baldi coming in. Well, it was McIntyre coming up on the left-hand side there. Had that got in, it would have been one of the most spectacular goals of the season. That's what he was trying to achieve. Good turn inside by Thompson. A lot of determination about this. And it just passed. Larson couldn't get up with it, and I think there might have been a slight touch. Let's see if the goalkeeper did get that touch. No, he didn't. That wasn't a corner. And how the referee read it that way, I'll never know. Should not have been awarded, but uh, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Up it went, down there, and then by Valde. So today it's been first timers' day. His first goal for the club, joining the that first goal scored by Hartson. Two 0 And deservedly so, I mean, only one goal in it after the superiority they had would have been a very skewed reflection of how this game has gone. Hamilton, Nick Dataway, well. A Celtic team playing with uh, great enthusiasm again. As the halftime whistle goes, two goals in it. And that sums it up. Pretty well because the United haven't had a single shot at goal. Very disappointed this play by them. Celtic was hoping uh, for a, an easy game and return from European duties, and that's exactly what I've had so far. The first goal, an indication of a man who's a reputation for being a hard player, a physical player, and yet showing a deft and subtle side to his abilities with that lovely little touch. Second goal. Valdi getting it, another first-timer for Celtic. A, a corner that really wasn't a corner. Gallagher had uh, complained about it, but as I said, accept these things. And Valdi did eventually getting in there. There's nobody going to stop them. Making the halftime score Celtic 2, the D United 0. Well, I said at the start of the game that the D United wanted to come to Parkhead with a positive attitude. It's either simply don't have the ability to mount that kind of game against Celtic but Celtic is simply far too good for them to allow them to play attacking football or a combination of both in any case Celtic have 
been an easy street this afternoon, that's for sure. And played with a great deal of enthusiasm. You remember in Oporto the other night, they, they went off the pitch, they looked a, a very tired and disappointed team. You might have thought that anybody playing against them today would have had a right go up. Delighted to have been far from that. Open. Well, we get that one. Falcaro covering it. Ushering it over. Nice play by Hartson. Again, beaten in the tackle. Now three against two here. Larson is onside. Making for goal and just passed. This time the referee doesn't give a corner. Trying to angle that away and right underneath Paul Gallagher. did the right thing and he got it accidentally in the face They're just shrugging and getting on with it so Hartson kept his position well I think he might not fly this wasn't far away well he might not exactly be the kind of player to completely fill the boots of Chris Sutton, but he has nevertheless that same kind of physical approach to the game in that area there just keeping the ball in his view and then letting fly I think we're getting a substitution that looks as if uh, Jim Patterson's coming on and uh, Hamilton coming off Larson and the goalkeeper has read it all right. It's out very quickly. Good move, good counter attack. Hands seem to be up there, and they were. Free kick. Oh, yeah, that's a beautifully judged pass. Still gets to Thompson though. We'll try and take him on the outside. He does. And gets the cross in. And it must be. Hartson getting the final touch. It looked as if it was going to be difficult in the first place for that ball to be crossed by Alan Thompson. But he did get there, as they have done, to be perfectly honest, in 50 50 challenges. All afternoon, neatly dabbed back, and Hudson could hardly miss. So, he's doubled his goal tally in one game. Good play by Thompson. Criticised for his performance the other night in Portugal. He has been feeding that penalty area very well with that left foot of his. So I think we're going to have a double substitution, Maloney and McNamara. On the come for Larson. And uh, Lennon. Parquet crowd rising to the two players who come off. So the youngster is on, Sean Maloney along with the more experienced Jackie McNamara. Thompson got his head to it, that's a corner kick. With a bit of a misjudgment with Balcaro. Oh, that wasn't far away. I think it might have been a touch, uh, Douglas getting to it. 
wasn't all that well defended as right in the middle of the goal as you can see here a couple of United players going up for it Callan oh beautiful touch by Hartson yes the crowd appreciating that and this man has shown by his first goal and touches like these that he's going to be a very very useful player if given the chance easy one to Lachlan again they lose possession unforgivable some of this play you know Maloney what can he do with it he wants to go for it himself he almost gets it great effort there by Maloney for well, the number of times Dundee United have just negligently given the ball away to allow Celtic to mount a counter-attack is well we've run out of the number of occasions. Moravchik. He does switch the play very intelligently, Moravchik. That's for the run forward. I thought it was the upper arm there that took that. Anna. Once again, the bob down in midfield, finding it very difficult to get any space and freedom to do anything with it. McIntyre. Patterson. Easton. Griffin. He launched the higher ball and not a bad effort. It's in. Well, it pulled one back. Well, when that was uh, played across there, you could see a little bit of uh, hesitation. And Jim McIntyre coming in to put it in the back of the net. Very easy kind of header there, and I don't think Martin Adil will be pleased with that. Celtic slightly going to sleep. And it's the first real effort they've had in the second half. Dibbley. Uh, McNamara. No offside. Can he put it away? Just passed. And the United players are incensed on the far side that the flag didn't go up. He tried the neatest of little chips there. Easily dispossessed by Maloney. That's happened so often to the United in this game. Maloney linking his line very well, this youngster. Thompson. And, uh, yes, I think it's a throw to United. The man who came up, flying up for that, was Paul Lambert again. Not content with it, covering every inch of this uh, tough. He wants into the scoring act as well. Leading by example for Celtic. having a little conference there with Alan Thompson Rabchik goes for it good save that was very very close again I think uh, it, it wasn't angled just sufficiently enough away from the, the goalkeeper but it really did test him Tivoli. Referee waves play on. Agat. That deceptive little twist of the hips. Took on too many that time, though. Oh, it's a gift. Well, that sums up an incredible.
incredible day for the Dundee United as Hodgson gets his hat trick. He's waiting a long time for his first goal and then he enjoys a veritable feast. But that was Dundee United at their worst. And sometimes the plum depth in this game of ineptitude. And it summed it up there. They could have cleared that ball long before it could have gone anywhere near Hartson. They couldn't get it properly and oh calamitous play. And the big fellow had no problem at all putting it away. Five minutes remaining. Dundee United once again will be glad to see the back of Celtic Park. And a little flick there by Moravchik. Brain is almost ticking over creatively. There's another little gift, they don't get it this time. side McIntyre again he couldn't get it cleanly enough beautifully laid off there by Maravce no offside and it's there the fifth Maloney brilliant run forward by the youngster Well, he had to still put it away. It was a long run for him. That defence woefully disorganised again, but that was very cool in terms of finishing. He really got to exploit and uh, be quite clinical about these chances you get. He shows that he's maturing very quickly indeed. by Robert Douglas. And a bit of a slip that time. Ooh, that ball was swerving. Yeah, vicious swerving and, and just got there by Robert Douglas. The final whistle goes and the kindest thing you could say about United is that they were hopelessly outclassed. That's the kindest thing you could say. The second half goals as Hodgson proceeded to his hat-trick after good work by Thompson. And then a goal clutched back uh, by McIntyre, totally against the run of play, that looping header. And then Hodgson with a gift, which I think summarised the United's uh, afternoon of incompetence. And then the buzz through by Maloney, a long run. And he kept his composure and slid it in. Convincing when they needed goals, they needed back in their own tub to get the confidence back. That's exactly what they've done. And I look forward now to seeing what they'll do in Norway on Tuesday evening. And final score, Celtic 5, Dundee United 1.